My research looks at how people can overcome temptation and how they can achieve their goals, particularly in the domain of health. So how can people do things like exercise more, eat healthier food, and make and keep the medical appointments that they know are in their long-term best interest? So let me give you a little bit um, more specific information about what I study. Uh, first study I wanted to mention to you is a study I did to look at um, the power of planning prompts or prompting people to form a plan about exactly when they'll follow through on and engage in a good behavior, like getting a flu shot or a colonoscopy. And we found that when people are prompted to just write down the date and time when they'll get a flu shot, we see dramatically higher rates of follow through. This also works with colonoscopies. So one of my studies shows the power of planning prompts. I have another study that I really like that looks at the power of fresh starts. What do I mean by a fresh start? Well, there are moments in our lives that feel like the start of a new era, the start of a new cycle, like the beginning of a new week, the beginning of a new month, the beginning of a new year following a holiday or following a birthday. And following those kinds of fresh start moments, people actually are more motivated to follow through on their goals. So we see that people search more for the term diet on Google. We see that people go to the gym more frequently following those fresh start moments. And we also see that they create more goals, both health and health irrelevant goals on a goal setting website. And then a third study that I think is sort of representative of this line of work looks at an idea I call temptation bundling. The idea is simple. Um, imagine that you really struggle to go to the gym. You don't have the willpower at the end of a long day. And imagine you also have a thing for a trashy TV show, let's say Breaking Bad. Um, well, you feel a little guilty watching Breaking Bad when you should be doing other things. So how do you solve these two problems? Well, what if you only let yourself watch Breaking Bad while you were exercising at the gym? You'd stop wasting time at home watching this TV show that you feel guilty about, and you'd start craving trips to the gym at the end of a long day to see what happens in the next episode. Not only that, you'll enjoy your workout and your Breaking Bad episode more combined because you won't feel guilty watching that episode, and time will fly while you're exercising at the gym. So those are three representative examples of my work on how we can get people to achieve their goals and overcome temptations. The key takeaways are sort of a number of tools that you can use to try to help yourself or help others follow through on their goals. So one key takeaway is that whenever you want to help somebody follow through on a goal, um, one thing you should do is actually prompt them to think about exactly when and where and how they'll accomplish that goal. By prompting them to think through those things, even if they do it privately and don't ever tell you their plans, you can help them reduce the likelihood they'll actually forget to follow through because now there's this cue embedded in their memory that's going to trigger the recollection, oh, Oh, this is when I'm supposed to, this is the moment I said I'd do it, this is when I'm supposed to go to the gym. And also it makes it harder for them to procrastinate because now they're putting off something they explicitly said they'd do rather than kind of a vague intention. So planning prompts are one way um, people can really help one another uh, increase goal follow through. Another practical implication of my work is it suggests that you may want to encourage people to follow through on their goals at fresh start moments. If you're thinking about when should I remind my employee about this objective that she wanted to meet, for instance, or he wanted to meet, um, the best time may be after a fresh start. So at the beginning of a new week, month, year, following a birthday, a work anniversary, or even at a moment you could frame to them as a fresh start for some reason. It's, it's the start of a new project for your team, for instance. So those are a couple of practical implications. And then temptation bundling of course, suggests that you can just encourage people to bundle their temptations with things that they know they should do. So for instance, as we talked about earlier, um, you know, bundling and engaging audio novel, say, or TV show with exercise, or you could only allow yourself to, say, get a pedicure when catching up on overdue work or to uh, watch your favorite TV show at home when catching up on some household chores or listening to your favorite music while catching up on chores. So those are a bunch of different practical implications of my work. One thing I found really surprising was how huge the demand was in a study I ran for temptation bundling. So in this study, we asked participants in our study if they'd be willing to pay us um, to take away a possession they could otherwise use freely, an iPod we'd given them as a gift, that was preloaded with a tempting audio novel of their choice, and lock this possession they could otherwise use freely at the gym so they could only access it when working out. So we thought, you know, not that many people will find it attractive to pay us to take away something they could otherwise use whenever they want. And in fact, more than 60% of our participants said, ooh, sign me up, that sounds great. And they wanted to give us money in order to take away this tempting possession so it could help them exercise more. So that was one really interesting, I thought, and surprising and exciting finding. I have another one that's kind of funny. 
My other surprising finding is actually in the research I did on fresh starts also in a study looking at gym attendance. And what we found in that study, one of many things we found in that study, is that people are more likely to go to the gym in the months following a birthday than in the months preceding it, so following this fresh start event. Now, interestingly, that's true for every birthday that was in our data set except one notable birthday, and that's the 21st birthday. Uh, you know, when we first found this, we were a little surprised, and then pretty quickly we realized maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe that's not so bizarre after all, but that was, that was something that stuck out at us as interesting in our findings. Well, one thing that organizations could do f is simply use planning prompts whenever they want to encourage follow-through and a good behavior. So they could prompt people to think through the where, when, and how of engaging that behavior, and that's likely to increase take-up. Another thing they could do is try to provide tools to facilitate temptation bundling. So for instance, at their gyms, they could offer to um, have a subscription available to Netflix that you could log into and watch your favorite show pick up where you left off. Or they could hold your iPod in a locker for you so that you could pick up listening to your favorite audio novel where you left off on your previous visit. Those would be a couple of examples of things organizations could do. Well, one story that's been in the news quite frequently is America's obesity epidemic. And a lot of my research provides tools that people can use to try to overcome the temptations that often lead us to gain weight, like failing to exercise frequently enough or eating healthy foods. I think one of the main misperceptions these studies dispel is that there's not a lot you can do if you're, say, overweight or in debt or haven't achieved the educational goals that you hope to achieve. What these studies say is that there are indeed tools you can use and strategies you can employ and that your friends can actually help you as well and your, uh, your colleagues as well as your family by uh, using those tools, providing those tools to help motivate you to achieve your goals. A lot of this research that I've done and that I've described to you today is actually really new. So no one had ever looked at fresh starts before. So that's sort of wildly new. No one had ever looked at this idea of temptation bundling. Um, the one set of studies that uh, that overlap a little bit more with past work are the studies on planning prompts. So people had looked at the power of planning prompts in the fa in the past. And what sets our work apart um, is sort of two things. One, a lot of past studies involving planning prompts actually involved face-to-face um, -face contact or contact over the phone with someone who asked you to walk through a plan. And what we actually did is sent a simple mailing. You never interact with another person. You're simply prompted to write down the date and time when you plan to engage in a given behavior. And so there's no social pressure that might be increasing the power of the planning prompt, and we still see huge benefits. So one of the things that we do is sort of isolate the fact that it's not something about social pressure, it's just the act of forming a plan privately that can really increase and follow through. We also do that study with a very large real population, thousands of people looking at real flu shots, whereas a lot of past studies have looked at hypotheticals or self-reports. I'm doing a lot of research right now looking at other ways we can encourage people to follow through on their goals and overcome temptation. One study that I'm particularly excited about is a large field experiment looking at encouraging people to save more for retirement. So we have about 30,000 people, and in our experiment, we're encouraging them all to sign up to take money out of their paycheck and send it to their 401k. Now, some people are offered the opportunity to do that, to start having the money move in the future at a fresh start moment, so say following a birthday or following New Year's, whereas other people are also offered the opportunity to do it in the future but at a fairly arbitrary date. And what we're hoping is that um, our hypothesis will be confirmed, which is that people will be more motivated to save and enroll in these retirement savings programs following fresh start dates, and that that will be a strategy that can then be employed more widely.